Good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks, thanks for listening to us this morning in a, in a beleaguered market that's under fire on a constant basis, seeming, seemingly. But as I mentioned in the last uh, presentation that we gave at the Metals Investors Forum a while back, we don't look at the gold tape. We just focus on finding gold, and that's, that's our job. So um, just to recap a couple of, of the things that we've done over the course of the year, and, and I should highlight that we're a, still a very young company. Um, it's almost a year to date since we IPO'd the company at this time last year, and, and it's incredible to think about all the amazing things that we've done over the course of the last year. So just to recap some of these amazing things, uh, in the last year we put out two resource estimates totaling 3.5 million ounces of gold equivalent in the ground at two projects, one being Delamar and the other one being Florida Mountain, situated in southwestern Idaho. Um, we also did another amazing thing this year. We completed over 20,000 meters of drilling, and uh, that is, in fact, the first drill program that this project has seen uh, in more than 20 years, so it was great to get back out there. Uh, in addition, we've, we found some great tools, which I'll show you a bit later on, uh, in the form of geophysical tools uh, to help us find more of the same, and that's certainly proving to be uh, uh, a real bonus for us um, in terms of finding these multiple extensions of, of gold mineralization outside of this very large resource that, that has been defined between surface and about 100 meters depth. So we've made a few discoveries. I think we've grown the resource um, on, on all respects and on all ends of the deposits. And all of this is really leading to a point where we're going to be doing these advanced studies where that will feed into a PA study next year. And that PA study is very much going to be an option study in terms of looking at the economics of this project. Well, what could this project look like as an open pit uh, milling scenario, an open pit heap leaching scenario, maybe some concentrate production, maybe a combination of one or two of these things. But the numbers that we're modeling right now uh, internally are, are certainly looking quite good from that respect. Um, some of you might have been watching the screen. Of late, uh, we completed an oversubscribed financing. There was lots of demand for this financing despite uh, uh, an industry that's under fire. And uh, as such, we've got about $18.5 million in the Treasury now. We have a couple of great new shareholders, which we've added. As you can see, some of them on the right-hand side. JP Morgan, certainly great to have them on board. And Commodity Capital out of Switzerland, uh, in addition. I should also man uh, mention that management are really invested in the story. We are still, as a group, the largest shareholders of Integra to date. So we really have a vested interest in, in moving this project forward to fruition. Um, and so we're cashed up and we're ready to go and we, we're, the drills will be spinning over the course of the winter. Our resource estimate, uh, this is the breakdown of the three and a half million ounces between the two projects. But I think something to focus your attention on more, more than that perhaps is, is, the, is the deep value that we have in our investment case. So we're, so we're currently valued at about $7 of uh, enterprise value per ounce versus a peer group of about $14. So there's lots of value for us to look at and to, to add to as we, as we move forward. For those of you who don't know, uh, the Delamar and Florida district is a phenomenal district with a great history. It's, it's got a history of production that to the tune of about a million and a half ounces of gold and about 100 million ounces of silver. So there's a, so a proven mining history, but, but more importantly, we, we see a proven metallurgical record here of 20 years plus of successful gold uh, processing on site, some very good gold recoveries on site. And we're adding to that with more studies now. So we're, we know milling works. We're going to look at heap leaching as an alternative, maybe some concentrate uh, production on site. All of that will feed into the study going forward. Now, as a, as a fan of football, and I don't know how many football fans there are out there, but I'm certainly one of them. And uh, as my wife, it's a bit of an uh, obsession. But I'm a big believer in, in playbooks. And um, this is our playbook. This is our new playbook. And I think every successful project has to have one. So when we started last year, we had a, we had a, a knowledge of what was controlling gold and silver. And I won't go into too much detail, but I think we've come close to cracking the code here on what, where to find the next discovery. So we've used this playbook. Basically, what it amounts to is defining where we are relative to the the then Earth's crust at the time of formation of these deposits to go find more. And as a result, we made two brilliant discoveries, one uh, Sullivan Gulch, which you'll see in a bit, and Henrietta as well. And that's all part of this playbook. And, and it's really an important factor in everything we do going forward. 
Um, this is a plan view of the resource at Delamar, three kilometers long. Uh, it's massive. Think about, think about an ore deposit that starts here at this hotel and it goes all the way to, to Granville Island. That's a, that's a big, big ore body, and I think we've added to it through the course of exploration. But we've also developed a couple of tools along the way that, uh, that are working very well. Uh, IP geophysics really lights up this deposit like a Christmas tree. So that, that uh, dash line that you see around um, the, uh, the geophysical survey that's highlighted by those red colors, or orange colors, that's basically IP chargeability. And that seems to be working extremely well as a tool for us to use going forward. As you can see, there's lots more chargeability outside of the uh, of that skim of resource. So that's proving to be a good tool. Um, not yet released, but this is the uh, first time we're rolling this out. The soil geochem profile is basically a measure of the gold content in the soils around the deposit. And as you can see, that's extending the footprint of the resource for kilometers outside of the, the, uh, the resource boundary. So that's looking quite good. And what does silver look like? Basically the same thing. Um, gold and silver are basically showing the same thing kilometers of, of potential outside of the resource boundary. So that's, that's all looking quite promising. So our success started this summer. Uh, we came up with these, these first drill results. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm a football fan. I think of things in football terms. And so when you start hitting uh, intercepts of gold and silver over a length of one football field or a length and a half of one football field, you start to get quite excited, as were we. And so we then stepped out about 100 meters away from that, and this time we're getting two football field lengths of gold and silver, just to put things into perspective. And this time around, we're starting to get better grades, certainly higher grades. And so we're all getting quite ex excited by that because we're now outside of the resource envelope. And now we're stepping about 250 meters away from that original intercept, and um, we're getting up to three football field lengths of continuous mineralization. So, uh, any of you who've been around an ore deposit before, when you start getting those types of thicknesses, you're, you know you're into a big system. So we're actually very, very excited by what's going on out here. So the grand conclusion here is, is simply put, Delamar is going to get bigger. There's no question about that. Um, we've made some great discoveries along the way using that playbook, that, that recipe book uh, of where to find or where to look for gold and silver. And we came up with Henrietta as a great discovery, uh, over a kilo per ton of just over four and a half meters of, of thickness, uh, basically about uh, a kilometer outside of the resource boundary. So brand new discovery, it's open. We're really excited to get, to get back in there uh, in this coming winter. And then uh, moving on to Florida Mountain, about five kilometers up the road. Uh, yesterday we put out what, was, what it was, and hopefully is not the only, um, the highest grade uh, gold-silver intercept that we've reported to date out at Florida Mountain. Uh, just over 20 grams per ton of gold equivalent over three meters. What gets me really excited about this particular intercept is that it sits about 200 meters outside of the resource boundary. So that gives you a bit of a hint as to you know, what's to come in terms of potential resource expansion. Um, second to last, our uh, second to last slide, um, our value uh, argument in terms of value relative to our peers, there's a lot of deep value. Uh, we're a young company, there's, there's lots of room for us to grow here, but by anybody's measure, by any measure, by any metric that you want to use, we're, there's a lot of deep value here as an investment case. So just, just, to, uh, just to summarize, we've got cash in the bank, we are owners of this stock, we are the largest shareholders of this stock, and we'll be drilling through the course of the winter, we've got one drill rig on the go, we've got lots more results to publish this year and into next year. Uh, all of this leading into a resource update in the first quarter of next year, and then that information feeding into a PEA study, an economic study. Again, we're, next year is going to be about drill results. It's going to be about proving to our investors that this is an economic bet. We're going to show people what it looks like from a milling perspective, potentially from a heap leaching perspective, and how big can this grow. Um, that's about all I have. Thank you. Thank you.